Welcome to my very first vlog. My very first vlog. First vlog. This is my dog. So this vlog um, is just going to be about what I eat in a day. I'm pretty much just going to walk you through my daily routine. I deal with that constantly. That's the noodle. He sounds like he sounds like the squeaky wheel on like a shopping cart. He just never stops whining. There's a bunch of babies. He's supposed to protect the house, and you're just babies. All day. This is all day. They're always on top of me. I look like a badass with you guys. Welcome to my vlog. Morning. I just woke up. It's about 6.30. Uh, so I'm going to show you what I eat for breakfast. So I woke up. Um, you know, brushed my teeth, washed my face. I put a face on just for the sake of this video. And now I just come into the kitchen. Usually the dogs are in tow behind me waiting for their breakfast. But I start... I start by cutting up a sweet potato. I dice it up um, and put it in the toaster oven. I like to get this done first. So it takes a couple of rounds in the toaster oven before they're as crispy as I like them. So yeah. So we're back from our walk. I'm running a little late. Odysseus is the worst walker in the world. I leave for work because I'm fucking late. Um, I just gotta feed the dogs. I gotta give Hades his medication. And I'm out of here. Alright, guys. So now I'm heading to work. Uh, I'm not running as late as I thought. I should be there on time today. Um, so basically, what I do is after I get done uh, taking the boys for a walk, my breakfast is finished and packed up, I add it to my giant um, lunch box and I head to work. Uh, I usually eat there. Just in the morning meeting, uh, we all get together to figure out, you know, where we're going to feed, what's going to go on, and I just uh, eat my breakfast. So I'll eat that, and I always pack an orange also, so after I eat the potatoes and eggs, usually I eat the orange. I'll see you at lunch. I'm in the back of my car for lunch. I like to eat here so I can read in silence. I can see my building from here so I can hear all of the chimps in case anything happens. Um, plus it's quiet. It's a space to myself. Nobody eats out here so nobody really messes with me, talks to me, anything like that. It's perfect. It's exactly what I need. A break. Lunch break. Today, I grab stuff to make a quick veggie boogie. Alright you guys, so that is it for my work day. I am racing out of the parking lot. It's about 4.30. Um, so I clocked out at like 4.30. I'm heading out now to get back home to the dogs. They have been at home alone all day. So I'm gonna go home, hang out with them for a little bit, take them outside. I gotta take Hades to the vet. Um, Hades has some severe hip dysplasia. For right now, we're just trying to help him along with some anti-inflammatory pills which I give him twice a day 
but I'm also taking him to the vet twice a week to get injections in his hips um, in hopes that it'll lubricate them and it'll pop itself either back into place or make it more manageable so that he can walk better, run better, and hang out hang out with his brother. You know, uh, it, has, it has been working, so I'll be taking him there. I gotta be there by like five o'clock, but the vet's right down by my house. So I'll take him to the vet, um, come home, spend a little more time with them so that they're not in the cage all day. And then I'll go to the gym. And then I come home and have some dinner. So I will see you guys shortly. So I just got back from taking Hades to the vet. Uh, he did great, he got his injection. When I got home, I just let the boys out real quick, brought them back in and fed them dinner, gave Hades his dinner meds. Um, now we're just relaxing. I washed my face. Yeah, I always wash my face. Uh, one thing that I didn't mention throughout most of my day today uh, was my what I drink, my water intake. So basically what I do, especially at work, is I always have this giant water jug with me. This one says, hustle for that muscle. So yeah, I just carry one of these around with me. Uh, my goal throughout the day, I do this f to clear up my skin. I do this to stay hydrated. I do this to not get hungry. I try to drink at least one full bottle uh, by each break time that I have at work. So when I get to work, I get there around 8 o'clock. So from 8 o'clock to 11, which is my first break, I like to drink one whole jug of water. And then I fill up again, and then from then, it's like 11 o'clock till my next break, which is lunchtime, anywhere from 12.30 to 1. I try to drink at least half or a whole nother one and then finish it throughout my lunch break. And then I have another break at 3 o'clock. So from the end of my lunch break till 3 o'clock, I try to drink one more of these. And then uh, I fill it up again before I head home, and I just sip on it until I'm ready to go to the gym. So this is how much I have left. Um, I'll refill this before I go to the gym, obviously, and then I'll try to drink this before my dinner is finished. So I don't know how many that is, like four or five bottles of water. It's just a way for me to constantly remind myself to drink water. It works for me. It works just great. You know, once they call my break, I'm like, oh, okay, it's break time. Did I finish that bottle of water? No, and I'll try to chug it before the end of the break, or whatever, just to get the water in. Water's good for you guys. Water. Now I'm just basically waiting for the floors to dry so I can put the boys up and head back to the gym. Probably take them out one more time before I go. And that's it. Kitty spent the night outside. Did you like it? You guys start coming in. I can't call you out there all night. You're too tiny to live outside. Look at these toes. Look at them. He's got mo toes. 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 All right, so I'm back home. Can you see me? All right, I got home uh, from the gym. I took a quick shower, washed my face, and now I'm making the boys a treat while I boil some water and um, get ready for my dinner. So for the boys' treats today, I went to the store on my way home from the gym, and I picked up some brand new peanut butter with only peanuts, oil, and salt. Healthy for the babies. Okay. So the boys got their food. Now I can cook my food. So as I said, I am boiling water because I'm making like a... I'm making this anti-pasta salad. I got this recipe. I was living with my aunt, and um, it was me, her, and her two daughters, and like six dogs. It was crazy, but we used to have like family dinners all the time, and we would all take turns making different meals, and my aunt used to make this one all the time. It's like this anti-pasta, what are they called, anti-pasta salads, whatever. It's incredible. So all you need for this, I just picked up some fresh spinach. 
tomatoes over there. So I picked up some fresh spinach. Uh, my aunt used to make it with real turkey, or well, real chicken for her daughters and stuff, but for me now, since I'm a vegan, uh, well, vegetarian, vegan, I don't eat meat. Um, I bought this brand chicken, and I'm going to see how this goes. I usually get like gardenia, or whatever it's called, and I cook it. This one is, I guess, pre-cooked already, so I'm just going to um, break it up, I guess, and put it in the pasta when it's ready for it. I also need, you guessed it, feta cheese, because feta cheese is just fucking great and everything. And then I have olive oil um, to make the dressing. Oh, noodles. I like to use little bug dyes for this. So if you like this video, if you want to see more videos, if you have any requests as to what kind of videos I should make, let me know. Well that's it for today guys, I really appreciate y'all watching, uh, thank you so much for viewing my daily routine, I hope it helps you guys in some way anyway, whether you're just trying to get a diet routine down, just trying to get motivated to go to the gym. Or if you just think that you don't have time to do any of these things, just check out My Psychotic Life. I still manage to make a lot of these things work. I found that making time for yourself to go to the gym, to make your own food, to really treat yourself, uh, it really reflects just in how you look and how you feel, your attitude, and you know that reflects onto other people, which just brings great things to your life. You know, good energy, put out into the universe, you usually get that shit back. Thank you again for watching, and if you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please do. Please like, please comment. You can say hello to the Odysseus, he's a little nugget. You can follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is at reallykels. Uh, you can also follow the dogs on Instagram. I think it's at Odysseus Nugget and Hades Noodle. Uh, my cat's got a hashtag, it's hashtag Gandalf Moscato the Grey. And you can also follow my art page. Uh, my art Instagram is at reallykelspaints. Uh, I have like some demos of me painting my chimp painting over there. I'm going to be doing a couple giveaways when I get to 150 followers on that page. I've only had that page for about a week. I've been painting for years, but I just started trying to sell some of my paintings and it's been going great. Uh, I love the response so far and I appreciate all of those who have bought my paintings. Glad they have gone to good homes. First vlog! My very first vlog! You've never vlogged before? No, I've never vlogged before. But haven't you always wanted to? Yeah, I guess I did. Okay, let's do a vlog! Okay, welcome to my vlog.